Three Smiles, episode 205. All right, let's see. What is going on today? I haven't posted a free-to-play episode in a while. Um, it's been like a little bit, I think, right? Mm, at least a week or so. But here we are, guys. Here we are. There wasn't really much going on. I, oh, I think what it was. Well, I was farming a ton of... Uh, yeah, there was a 3x Savage set that took place recently. And I was using as much resources as possible. Just farming as much of that as I can. With all the energy I had um, saved up and whatnot. Um, the gems, I, I tried to save on that for now. Because I might need that a little bit later for some other events that take place. So, uh, I didn't really use gems towards that. But... As far as upgrades go, well, let me take a look at these clan boss rewards and see if we got anything decent at all. Hopefully some void shards. There is a 2x void summons event that is uh, active for this weekend. So if you guys are um, summoning, I hope you guys get something really good. And I guess like the big question for me is, am I going to pull my shards? After I've been saying I'm waiting, I'm going to wait for a 10x net grid or event or something like that. But... I mean, as much as I would love to pull for a, or save for a 10x Necrid event with all my Void Shards, I'm still missing a lot of Void Legendaries. Like, there's still so many Void Legendaries out there that I could really make use of that'll be solid for my account and whatnot. So, I figured, you know what, I might as well just, I might as well just go for it, you know? So, yeah, we are going to be going for this, uh, this 2x Voice Summons event. Um, let me go ahead and finish these out real quick. I don't know if you guys took a look at my new team yet, but we got a Jentaro man eater. Or what is it called? It was Bad Eater, but this is a Jentaro Eater, right? Or is it the same name? Jentaro Bad Eater? I don't know. But uh, all right. We also got some Hydro Boss rewards that I did not collect just yet because I wanted to show it to you guys. I would like to save these for you guys. We can see together. All right. We got a. Uh... Okay. I mean, I could definitely quad on that. That could be usable. Ideally, I'm looking for like the triples, or not triples. The um, the six stars, and then triple on certain things i mean like yeah like the speed here would be nice if i can land an ascension hp percent here this would be really good really really good okay this could be useful as well um yeah we're gonna get some soul souls out of this too i think uh, i mean again i'm not really too interested in the five star pieces here not what i'm looking for right Yeah, I mean, all right, so normal is the only one. So this one, for whatever reason, with that whatever remaining chance I have, I can't really do the max chest on this. I could do the max chest on brutal and normal, no problem, or brutal and hard, I mean. But I mean, this is still better than nothing, you know? Okay. All right, so what else do I have to collect here? I think I already did most of this. Okay. Okay, I would love to buy that, but I can't. And I would love to buy this. I should have bought this, actually. Ooh, I was really close to getting that. Yeah, I could have got that. And I'm actually a little bit... Uh, I'm still a little far off from this. 4,000 more, and I should have this done. But this... Uh, yeah, this Doom Tower season is ending pretty soon. And there's no way I can make up that 4,000. So... And I've been lacking a lot. On this Doom Tower, I'm not gonna lie, guys. I I've been slacking re uh, the past week uh, for Doom Tower rotation, but um, it's fine. It's whatever. Now, do I want to pop these and just see what I can get here? Um, I mean, this event's already over. I I try to get as far as I could with what I had, but I, I just I didn't really see how I would get to this. You know, these are expensive. Like I would have loved to at least grab one of these, but. I try to just focus on the easiest two here for these points and i mean i'm not i'm not gonna i'm not sure i'm gonna be able to get this right ideally i would like to get to here and then i'd be pretty happy with that um i mean this might be even a stretch there yeah that's gonna be tough but this one i definitely i don't think i could do that but we are working with what we have Okay, so let's see. Still have some bunch of quests we didn't do yet. 
but what was I going to show you guys? Okay, well, as far as boy shards goes, I have 11 here. And again, I want a Necrit, right? There's so many Void Legos I could use. But right now, there is a Siffy 10x event happening at the same time as a 2x Void Summons event. Now, would I want a Siffy over Necrit? No. I, I mean, I really, really want a Necrit. That's like my most wanted right now, top of my wish list. But it's very, it's not that often they do a 10x plus a 2x at the same time for like a a really really high quality champion like Siffy. So I feel like if I'm gonna hit legendary, I might as well try to go for the Siffy. You know what I mean? And what better time to summon than a t than a 2x event, right? So I I decided I'm gonna be going for this uh, champion here. So that is the plan right now. And I do need to make a, some space because I have like no space here at all. Jeez. Like I could even buy some more space here. And I think these are gonna be pretty close now. Pretty equivalent. Like I'm getting to the point on my account where like I almost want to crunch my rares, but I, I have to keep reminding self, myself I'm free to play. I really, really need to take advantage of all of this, but I just have no space, guys. Like, I don't know what to do at this point. I mean, I guess I could buy more of this with my, my silver or gems, but silver is not ideal here. That's too expensive. It would ideally be gems, but I'm not really like swimming in gems either. You know what I mean? So, I mean, I guess I could try to wait. There's a, a champ training event that's taking place. Um that you could try to win one of these epics or legendaries depending on what your count level is then you could try to win one of these to help you go for this brand new fusion that actually we did not go over yet with you guys um this is really cool so i have enough here with just epics to get this guy right off the bat which is dope right and i'm missing three here for her and i'm missing a couple rares here and there um yeah i mean like we're not that far off even though we are missing three epics which is pretty big but this is very doable you know it's uh and lady kimmy is actually pretty cool i do like her she has the um the ally attack which is nice here and yeah i, I like her she's cool and it'll be our first ever mythical legendary champ mythical legendary mythical champion on our account here on a free to play so i do i do look forward to getting her where i'm gonna get the books to book her out <laughs> you know i don't know but you know at least it's a free mythical i guess so without further ado um let's go to you know i used to like going to 777 but now i started finding myself going to like some random 99 something channel so like i don't know 991 or whatever so i kind of just go to one of these and just summon because i don't know like there's always people in like there's always people at 777 and I don't want to take credit, but I think I might. I'm pretty sure that I'm the one that started the whole let's get something amazing. Plurium, please, please bless this account. Like there's so many people I see, I see saying stuff like that. And I wonder if like they actually know where that originated from. And I can probably say that it was definitely us because we started doing that on Twitch like ages ago. And I've never seen anyone else do stuff like that, you know? And ever since that, everybody always goes to 777 and blurs out random stuff like that, you know? Please let me get something on me, you know, like random stuff like that, but I don't know. Anyways, I just, uh, I, I don't really try, I try not to go there too much now on my free to play because I don't really want to spoil what I get there in case I do pull legendary. So that's kind of why I like to just go to like some random channels now. But uh, yeah, in case you didn't know, guys, this is where it originated. Right here so uh uh here we go guys plurium please bless this account and we have no room right we have no room at all uh geez so how do i make room guys i could oh god i mean i guess wait a minute three stars okay let me let me just try to do what i can here guess i'll just go with these like i know i should probably save this for tomorrow because there is a um champ training taking place but yeah it's okay it's fine all right just a little bit more uh we have the most of blue so let's go with her mix them up here and 
do one more. That's a four stars. Okay, let's let's just go with uh, Steel Sound Boyer. Steel Bo Steel Soulbound Boyer. Whoops, completely wrong name. All right. Okay, so we have enough room for nine, and I did see an open spot in here and there, so that should count for exactly enough, right? Okay, let's just throw him in there, and let's just throw her in there, and we have some random ones here we don't care about, so whatever. We have enough room now. Oh, more than enough. Okay, so can we get a legendary that's not an Ursiga, not a dupe? Because I, I have so, I like, I've pulled what, four, no, five total Void Legendary so far, or four? And two of them are dupes, right? Was that what it was? Affinity. Uh, Yeah, I got two Ursigas, right? Uh, Somewhere. Maybe she's in here. Okay, so I have two Ursigas, I have two Cardials, and then a Gurgo. Those are my only five Void Legendaries I pulled on my account. Like, solid ones for sure, but no more dupes, please. No more. I can't I can't deal with another dupe like that. Come on. Okay, we're starting with an epic. Alright, it is a 2x voice summoning event, so the odds of us getting a bunch of legends or epics are, you know, highly uh high rates. So come on. Come on. <laughs> Give us a legendary. Okay, so we see the points there already. So we either got all rares and a legendary, or we got an epic. Wait, I think we got a legendary. Wait, no, I was completely wrong. Wait a minute. Oh, because they're yeah, it's because they're fifty points each. I, I was thinking of I was thinking of the anxious shares points because that's I think that's ten or twenty each. So I was thinking like 10, 10, 10, 10 uh, two fifty, and then. The legendary, but even so, that wouldn't work because a void legendary would be 650 points, I think, something like that. So, yeah, you know, ideally, I really, really wanted to pull Pankeeper here if it was a rare because we need one more Pankeeper and then we can make that cheese comp for uh, the Iron Twins, but that was not the case. Yeah, so maybe we can just try to get another void uh, from our uh, clan boss in the next couple of days or something. Oh man, feels bad. Feels bad, guys. Did we pull anything here useful? No, not none of these two epics. There are none of these two rares. Yeah, so that's pretty much going to be <laughs> so disappointing, guys. All right, so we got a brand new epic here, which I honestly I don't really care for him too much, but it's always nice to fill out the Pokedex, right? Um. And champ chase points, what do we got here? Okay, alright, very nice. Some gems. And, oh, that's an easy 100 points there. If I can just pop a legendary. So, or even two epics, right? So I could even like pop two of these. But that's, that's also 500 points going towards like a champ chase for a future fusion event. Which I think... I could get by with uh, without these, so that might be the play here. I can open those two, and then um, I could just save her for even like CVC. That's three. That's thirty thousand points because I don't have her yet. So I think that might be the play, guys. All right, a hundred points. I get. Uh, where am I at? Ninety. So I'll get to one ninety. I get to here ish, and then I would just need a little bit more, and I could push and get that. Um, but where would I get that? That's over. I'm not really participating in any of the faction events. Cham training. Arena takedown. That might be part of it, right? Oh yeah, it is. It is. So that'll be another extra little points there. And then Dragon Turn Attack with Knight Revenant. Oh, that's tough. I, I just I don't have the energy for that. Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna have to think about this, guys. Using Dark Gales only? That's a lot of energy, jeez. That's a lot of energy, and I can't make that up in 18 hours, no. Like, even if I use all my gems right now, no, I can't. I can't even do it. 
So, oh man, I don't even know if, uh, I mean, I guess like if I, if we're, so 100 points here, right? What is that? Oh, 50 points there. So I'm just going to assume that the, the classic arena is going to get 50 points also. So I'll still be shy about like a little bit more there, right? To get to this, uh, this two star. I'll be shy just a little bit, like 60 points. And then I got to try to land, uh, on another event here. Yeah. So I, I'm not sure if I'll be going for this then. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. I still have some time to, uh, you know, think about it, but yeah. Yeah. So there you have it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoy this episode, this uh, this episode of our free-to-play series we call Free Smiles. And I hope you guys get legendaries. You know, maybe we pay the tax for all of you guys and someone out there. I know a lot of you still want the Siffy. I know a lot of you want other legendaries, but I hope you guys get something amazing. Good luck to you all. So thank you so much for watching, guys. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of your weekend and good luck, good luck. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a like on this video down below. Leave a comment if you would like to and make sure to subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And I'll see you all in the next video.